Hi, everyone. So nice to meet you. I'm Ariel, and I'll be leading this workshop today. I'm so excited to explore printmaking with all of you. This is a um, activity that's great for all levels, especially beginners. We're going to be just using materials that you all can find around your house and um, just kind of explore the basics of printmaking. I just wanted to start off by talking a little bit about what printmaking is. Since we have a lot of beginners today, I thought we should just explore a little bit of those basics. So printmaking involves the creation of a master plate from which multiple images are made from. So the artist chooses the surface of what they want to be that plate. So this can be linoleum, it can be styrofoam, metal, cardboard, or stone. And today we're gonna be using styrofoam. The artist prepares the plate by carving, etching, or drawing an image onto it. After that, we then apply ink and paper is pressed on top of the plate by hand or a printing press. And the final image is then pulled off from the plate. So here in these pictures, you can see some traditional printmaking ink and these, this tool called a brayer, which helps us spread the ink, some carving tools, and this is an example of a traditional printing press. So the exciting thing about printmaking is that you don't need all these fancy materials and equipment to learn how to print. Right here, you can see some examples of um, styrofoam plates like we'll be using today and some tools that other people have used. And then here are some examples of the types of prints that you all be, may be making today. So you can use um, lots of colors or you can just use one color and we'll practice um, applying the ink so I'm gonna, in this PowerPoint, and I'm gonna switch over to my second camera so we can work step-by-step step together. So over here, you can see I've gathered some of my materials. And the first thing that I'm gonna ask you all to take is just your piece of styrofoam. And the next step is I'll ask you to just trace your piece of styrofoam onto a piece of scrap paper. And we're gonna take some time right now to think about um, what your design is going to look like and to draw a sketch of that onto your scratch paper. So I think I'm going to create some flowers for Valentine's Day. So you can tell I'm just kind of making a quick drawing, not thinking too hard about what it's going to be. I'm just excited to get to that carving process and start thinking about transferring my image onto my styrofoam plate. And I'm gonna just try to do some backwards writing freehand, so we'll see how this goes. Maybe I'll even just add some background texture. So I'm really thinking about how I can use the entire plate and how I can make my image interesting and um, really just use the entire space of my styrofoam. Okay, so I think I am ready to start transferring my sketch onto my styrofoam plate. So there is a couple of different ways that you all can do this. If you wanna just freehand onto your styrofoam, go for it. If you don't feel like completely drawing again from scratch, another option is um, you can first cut out your sketch to be the exact size of the styrofoam. Now that I have cut out my design to be the exact size of my styrofoam plate, I'm gonna just lay it directly on top. And with my pen, I'm going to trace it onto my styrofoam. And then, We'll want to kind of go over everything on the plate again with your pen to make sure that it's really going deep into your styrofoam. So I'm gonna take my sketch paper off and as you all can see right here, you can um, see a lot of my marks that I made. Now I'm gonna take the time to go over them and add any last detail I want to show up in my print.
All right, so I think I'm done. And let's get started inking up our plates. I have some speedball ink right here. I have this palette knife. I have this tool right here called a brayer, which is to help us um, spread out our ink and then roll it onto our styrofoam plate. And then lastly, I'm going to use this wooden spoon today to apply pressure um, from my paper um, onto the plate to transfer the image. So this is the tool that we're gonna use instead of a printing press. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and put some ink straight onto um, my inking plate. So I'm gonna take this red ink, maybe mix just a little bit of white into it, see what kind of color we can make right here. So I'm gonna just spread out my ink over here. I'm gonna just start to roll up my brayer. So you can tell when, you're, when you look at my palette that it's just a really thin layer of ink. Now for the fun part, everybody. I hope y'all are excited to see what your prints look like and to see what really is possible with just styrofoam and some basic materials. I've already rolled up my brayer, so I'm gonna start to ink up my plate, like you can see right here. Okay, so time for the printing. So you should have your ink fully, or your plate fully inked up, and I've already cut up some newsprint to the, to the size that will work for my plate. And what I'm gonna do, you can trace your piece of paper onto the newsprint print. I'll take my styrofoam plate and I know that I'm gonna want this to be printed exactly in the middle of my paper. So if I want, I can trace this or I just feel pretty good that this is gonna be the center. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and line up my paper. So a way that I'm going to do that since I created this little template is I'll just hold up this piece of paper to the edge right here hold it down with a couple of fingers, and then just let it drop. And then I'm gonna press it down here so it doesn't move. So I have a wooden spoon right here. And like I said, this is the tool that I'm gonna use to apply pressure, kind of like a baron or a printing press. And the way that I'm gonna do that is to just start rubbing from one corner down all the way down to the bottom and make my way across the whole print. Things are coming along. Looking pretty good. Looks like I could still use a little more pressure at the bottom. All right. I'm gonna lift it up and see what we've made. Are y'all ready for the big reveal? All right. Yeah. Cool. So here's my print. I think I'm pretty happy about it. And for those of you who asked if we should be using pen, I can see right here that some of those pen marks did come through. I think that will stop, like, stop happening once I've done a couple proofs that will kind of fade out. But that is something to keep in mind. But I think the pen was really useful to help me get these like nice thick lines that you can see. And I think I'm pretty happy with how my print turned out. And you all are welcome to reach out with any questions or Send me pictures of your creations. Thanks everybody, I hope y'all have fun. So glad you enjoyed it.